Yo, what is up, guys? It is your boy Mine, aka Mental Oriental, aka Hawaii. Doesn't matter. I'm down with whatever. Back with another video. The video that I'll be doing, as you guys can see in the thumbnail, is an in is an instructional slash tutorial video on how to install Cinch Gaming's new Pro Mag Stick. So basically, what that stands for is Pro Magnetic Sticks. They are interchangeable thumbsticks that hook onto the new um, magnetic thumbsticks. I guess you can say. Shit, I don't know. But basically, it replaces your old thumbsticks right here with these new ones that allow you to interchange the thumbsticks height, you know, the shape of the thumbstick, so on and so forth. So basically, you can just, it's magnetic, it just snaps into place, and you have three different sizes to choose from. And there are also perks like there's zero slow turn, there's no grinding when you turn. Um, it, it lasts it makes your thumbsticks last I guess last a little bit longer as well and also for the Xbox one controllers they have this analog stick variant you guys can use as well they, they do not work on the ps4 and um this this pro mag stick setup right here this kit works on any controller so if you wanted to do it with a cinch controller if you wanted to do it with the controller your PlayStation came with or your Xbox it came with it will work on that it doesn't have to be limited to the cinch gaming controllers itself just keep in mind that um, you are dealing with a very very sensitive piece of electronics you know what I mean you have your controller has a circuit board a motherboard inside some ribbons some circuit ribbons that you guys need to be gentle with um, with that being said this is an instructional video it will it will help you do the um, the swap over from the regular PS the OEM thumbsticks to the new Pro Mag sticks. But if you guys just happen to screw up on it, I'm not liable for it. Cinch Gaming is not liable for it. You guys are doing this all at your own risk. This video is just a how not a how to. It's just a step by step video help you guys um, make this whole change possible. Because Cinch Gaming currently doesn't have a tutorial how to change the thumbsticks yet. So I figure I pull one out, help you guys out that do want to order these um, this thumbstick kit. So guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll let the video play out itself. And um, I want to apologize for the lack of videos. My capture card went out, so I'm unable to post videos um, until further notice. So, but I want to thank you guys very much for um, hanging in there with me. I really do appreciate it. And one more thing that I didn't mention during the video is that if you guys use Control Freaks on your guys' PS4, so usually it's like this, right? Stays place. It will not work with this new. Um, Pro Mag Kit because these thumbstick size are Xbox One size, so the PS4 control freaks just don't fit. But um, it's not a big deal. You just gotta go buy some Xbox One um, control freaks and they'll fit perfectly. But I mean the height and the stuff for the the kit is pretty much wide range. Like if you guys play with the high rise control freaks, then you have the high rise um, interchangeable stick. If you guys play with the CQCs, you guys have the dome, the dome interchangeable thumbs um thumbstick so it is um cinch gaming did a really good job on you know expanding the i guess the, every person's taste on how they play if they use control freaks if they use you know the regular thumbsticks so um i don't like i have a whole con look i have a whole container full of i have a whole con container full of um control freaks and i played a couple games with um the new pro mag sticks and i felt like i didn't need them and i used to play every game with them so i mean cinch gaming did a really good job on that making it so it adapts to everybody's um play style but um that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys do enjoy the video i don't want to take up too long on this intro but i want to say thank you guys so much again for you know hanging in there hanging in there with me i really do appreciate it guys and i will post some videos as soon as i get the capture card thank you guys so very much for tuning in please share this video so other people who buy the pro med kit can also you know get a um little know-how so they're not going in there blind trying to do their controller by themselves all right guys thank you very much for tuning in this is your boy mayan aka mental oriental aka it doesn't matter i'm down to whatever thank you very much for tuning in i'll see you guys in the next video peace all right guys what is up we will be doing as you guys seen by the intro we will be doing this full tutorial on how to install the new cinch gaming pro mag sticks so um you know I kind of briefed it in the intro but basically this is what it is it comes in a kit just like this this is from cinch gaming um, you can order it on their site for $24.99 um, please use my code Hawaii for 5% off it also helps me out as well as give you guys a, a small discount now in this kit as you guys can see we have two sets of regular size dome sticks that we'll get into a little bit later two concave regular size um, 
sticks and then two long sticks. These two analogs are for the Xbox One. They will not work on the PS4. So, um, and these right here are the things that I'm going to be installing today. And I'm going to give you guys a full detail on how to do that in a little bit. So these are what they look like. They're front and back. The back has a magnet, which allows, I'll just do a short right here. So this is the stick that is interchangeable with two other um, sizes and it just clips on like that and it allows you, there's like zero turn, no grinding, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and get into this um, breakdown. They do, um, oh shit. Okay, sorry. All right, so as I was saying, it comes with a screwdriver. This is for the, um, what do you call that? The extent adjustable trigger stops. But this right here is a regular star Phillips screwdriver that we'll be using to take apart this controller. Now I wanna let you guys know, this is my Cinch gaming controller. This is actually the controller that I use, play with every single day. Is the one that I sent to them, they sent back to me that I had that whole hiccup with or whatever. But I wanna tell you guys this now and I'll probably say it throughout this video. You are doing this on your guys' own, at your guys' own risk. Now, Singe Gaming nor myself will be liable for anything that happens to your controller. If you guys want it to be done professionally, please have your controller sent to Singe Gaming, the, um, Singe Gaming, and they will do it for you. If you guys aren't comfortable in doing this, now, fortunately for me, I took apart a controller before, so I know kind of how more or less it works. But um. I know you just need to be very, 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 very careful with the trigger springs and do not lose any of these four screws in the back. So we're going to go ahead and get started. As I said just now, there are four screws in the back. There's one, two, three, and then there's four. So we're going to go ahead and slowly take off the screws with the screwdriver that came with the kit. Alright, screws came outside. So I see this part up. All right, so once you guys have all four of the screws off, you guys will need to s carefully, but kind of firmly, separate the top from the bottom. Make sure you do not, you know, put too much pressure on it or things will break. You guys need to remember that these are electronics and electronics break very easily. So just, just like that, you just separate it slowly. And in fact, hold on, let me get an idea. So what I'm gonna use is my power-ups card and I'm just gonna go in the grooves right here and I'm just gonna use it to separate the rest of the controller so just so there's like clips inside that needs to be separated you just want to go ahead and separate that so just give it a little pry and it, everything should pop off away from each other like I said you guys do not want to put too much pressure on if you're putting too much pressure and then things will go haywire and you will break your hundred thirty dollar controller over a twenty five dollar improvement sorry I'm gonna take it out of frame for fast. okay oh shit so there it is I separated it that may have been a little bit hard but basically what you guys want to do and I like a dumbass my fucking controller is on so Okay, so this is the mistake that I just made. So as you guys seen, this L2 trigger just popped off because I applied too much force to it. So what you guys gonna wanna do is take out the, put the controller down, take out the, oh, this shit will come out, there you go. Take out the trigger and then just pop it back in. It goes in really, really, really easily. Just put it back in and then pop it in place. You guys do not wanna lose your spring So make sure that goes on the inside and it still works. Okay, then what you guys are gonna do is you guys are gonna separate this this little, what is this, this uh, band or whatever. Right here, you guys are gonna pull this blue thing. You guys pull it off slowly and then place it on the side. Next, what you guys wanna do is take apart the battery, separate it from the controller, which is right here. You're just gonna give it a little tug and it comes right out. You wanna place that on the side. And then next, your controller, if it weren't for the wires for the buttons, the controller would be separated from each other. So now basically what you guys want to do, put it down on the table or whatever surface you guys are working on. And inside here, right here, there's a little screw right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry, there's a little screw right here. You guys are going to want to, un you guys want to unscrew that. Okay, do not lose this screw. 
Okay, once you guys have that off, you guys want to put it on the side with your other screws. And then there's a little, another ribbon right here. So there's another ribbon right here that needs to be removed. So I'll be right back and I will get a tweezers to do it. All right, so I am back. We're gonna go ahead and take our tweezers and this brown ribbon right here, we're just gonna very gently pinch it and pull out. And then you're gonna wanna tuck it. There's like a little slot right there. You're gonna tuck it inside, inside of here, right where the ribbon is coming through. You guys wanna tuck it in there and push it down. And then this part just comes right up over that. So don't, again, everything you guys are gonna be doing, do it very, very, very gently because this will break very easily and you will be completely fucked. So, so once you guys push it through, it's gonna separate just like that. Now this is your front controller. You're gonna place this on the side and here are your sticks. So again, you guys wanna keep this very, 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 you guys wanna do whatever, patience is everything. So you guys wanna be very patient with everything you do. So once you have this part exposed right here, let me adjust the camera a little bit, bring it a little bit closer. There we go. So you guys are gonna wanna just hold gently and pull these old, pull your thumbsticks off just like that and place them on the side. You're gonna to wanna to take your new thumbsticks and inside here, as you guys see, there's like, pull it focus. Yeah, there's like a groove. There's like a little pattern the way it goes on. You guys wanna place it in just like so. Do not force it again, just do it gently. And it goes on and you do it for the other side. And then it is everything is all good now I'm just gonna leave my thumbsticks off and then once you guys have it installed just like that you guys are gonna put everything back together so place the ribbon back inside there the ribbon is back in there all oh, the trigger come off again so once you guys um, place it back in like that you guys are gonna want to plug back in the ribbon now this is to make sure your um I believe this is for the touchpad so I'll place the ribbon back in like that. It's nice and secure in there. I'm gonna put back on my trigger correctly. That way it doesn't keep popping off. There we go. All right, now we can put back in the silver screw into the middle of the circuit board. So once it's in, you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and tighten it, but don't tighten it too tight, or it can get, anything you over tighten or shit like that, it can just get really, really, really fucked up. So just be careful when you guys are tightening it. Don't tighten it too tight, but make sure it's secure. You know what I mean? So once you guys have it tightened, you guys wanna place back in your guys' battery. There's only one way the battery can go in. So just make sure the words are up. You guys are gonna wanna plug in you guys um, ribbon for the charger and the LED. And again guys, you guys wanna do this very, very patiently. This it's not a fucking race. You don't gotta race nobody to see who can do it faster. Take your fucking time to do this. And then once you guys have everything connected, everything looks good, you guys are just gonna wanna place your guys controller back together. I usually put in the stuff first the what do you call that the, the triggers and then once you guys have everything lined up just push the front end so once you guys have your guys back triggers lined up like that this thing right here you just want to pull it over and under and everything should just slide in place and then as you guys can see there's some wires right here sticking out you guys just want to tuck it in so when you guys when you guys push down it doesn't catch or anything it doesn't snag on anything like that so once you guys have that done just simply you know play with it a little bit so it kind of sits in nicely and you guys will hear a definite click when it does when it you know it's perfectly lined up there 
and then you guys are done you guys just close it up like so and everything is all good okay so now everything is all good you guys just gonna screw back in you guys screws Alright guys, sorry about that. So I just was doing the editing and I realized that the last portion of the video got corrupted. So I had to erase it. I'm redoing it now. Basically, this is the final product right here as you guys can see. Um, installed it perfectly. You guys just want to make sure that the, the sticks rotate you know, evenly and smoothly. And go ahead and you guys can now slap on the interchangeable thumbsticks to whatever you guys please and just go ahead jump in and play a game with it and make sure everything works perfectly so the finished product should look something like this after you guys put in your guys thumbstick it should you know work smoothly like so and um, if you guys have any questions at all please let me know in the comments below I'll be more than happy to help you guys out the best way I can if I cannot help you guys out in any way then I will definitely um, suggest you guys contacting cinch and I'm sure it's not much to have it sent to them and they can do it professionally and you guys will know that it's done the right way and everything will be good on it but um, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial if you guys did please smash that like button share the video so other people can you know see the um, the video as well so they can kind of help them if they choose to get the kits as well um thank you guys very much for tuning in and i hope this video did help thank you very much guys this is mine aka mint oriental aka hawaii it doesn't matter i'm down to whatever thank you very much for tuning in. i'll see you guys in the next video peace